be here a while. Ooh, it's Camaro. Speed hot rod. Right? Ooh, nice firebird. <laughs> Wonder where they're all going. Our little birds updates, they're about ready to fly. They're so cute. Jenna bought this selfie stick at the Dollar Tree and it's okay for like a small camera but our camera is kind of big and clunky and so when you're using it it's heavy on the back so as it goes it opens itself up and it's hard to keep still so I took some nails and I bent them. Whose idea was this? This was Jenna's great idea. <laughs> I need to get props for this. So yeah Jenna had the idea just took some big nails I cut the head and got the points off so I bent them an angle which is kind of what we want for our selfie stick like that and uh, what we're gonna do is just lay it on the side there and then just tape it on use some electrical tape I think I'm gonna sit like that and like that and we won't be able to adjust this one except for just the handle but we use that one mostly in the car yeah. to get both of us in frame right and we've got two more selfie sticks that are just like it that once we get our GoPro I think we'll be fine for it, um, but they just don't really work too well with the camera we're using. So then the key important part is to screw this on and then make a mark where your camera faces because I had this on once already and uh, the camera was like, it was bent like this and you couldn't move it and the camera was like facing this way so feed the purpose. The feed the purpose, there we go. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. This is kind of the idea, it's a super low tech solution. So just to give you an idea. Just two nails. Of course, we're going to tape it the rest of the way up. But. So there's the finished product. It's ugly, but it's going to work. And it was only a dollar, and <clears throat> so it's less than two dollars. And I think it'll work. So here, here it is in action. Not bad. It no. works. I am so much shorter than you. Yeah, I know. But even though I shake it, it doesn't wiggle it down. Nice. It's going to stay. It's going to work. It's going to be good. I think so. Little bird in the parking lot at the main mall. Just chilling, getting some sun. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get. But. Just look at the spinners. You sit in it and spin. Oh. Wow. I don't know. Looks like a carnival game. Whoops, I can't hold the thing steady. Time for another garden update. I think, <clears throat> I don't think it's made it to the last garden update, but we've got this leaf lettuce. And it's actually, it's really, really good. But we got to cut it all back because it's starting to grow up. The more you cut it back, the more tender it stays. And over here, in this window box, in the center here, that's romaine lettuce. Then these guys, I planted some spinach because I just happened to have some seeds. And then I'm using this as a little starter nursery for some more sunflowers. Jenna says I've got a problem with sunflowers because I didn't think they were going to come up over here on the side of the deck because something came and you see something came and ate a bunch of the seeds. But I got four or five plants coming up pretty good and a bunch more after that. I planted this tray here full of a bunch of sunflower seeds so that I could transplant them later on. And I didn't think in front of the house that any of these sunflowers are going to come up, but they're kind of hard to see. But there are oh, a couple of dozen that are already coming up with a good patch of them there. So I think it's going to be good. I think the whole front of the house should be covered with sunflowers. I'm going to go in reverse order this time. Over here is where I started this, my first sunflowers. and They're growing really well. And then I planted a bunch more and they're just starting to pop, pop up. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these sunflowers. I'm going to have to transplant them someplace. And the watermelon is, is growing. It's not going crazy. I think that slows, it grows kind of slow. And then the pumpkins are doing well. Cucumbers, it's about time for me to thin them out, I think. Because there's quite a few in here. But I'll just let them go. And then the green beans on the other side. Looking pretty nice. And the squash that weren't doing really well are all starting to come out. They have those five hills of squash that are, they're all doing good. And the winners so far are the spaghetti squash. They always grow really well. But I gotta pull some weeds. 
out of there. And for some reason, these zucchinis weren't doing very well, so I transplanted some from over there, dug them up, and stuck them over in this hill. And they're looking a lot better. They're still a little bit wilty because it got moved. And then this is mostly grass. And I thought that none of the carrots were growing, but these guys are carrots, that guy's a carrot, that guy's grass. So I've got a weed tonight, but, but I'm happy to see that some of the carrots are coming up because I was thinking it was a lost cause. Before we left, Jenna was showing you the birds up here, and I came out of here to water, and they all flew off. So I'll make sure that they don't come back. I'm pretty sure they're not going to come back in there, but I'm going to take that nest down, and I've got some mud wasps that are living up there. i got to get them taken care of because I don't want to get stung by a wasp. And the viewer's choice strawberries. We've already had a few that we've eaten out of there. But that one's pretty ripe. Ooh, and there's a nice ripe one. Mmm. Most of the ones that are ripening now were already on the plants when I planted them, but hopefully they'll continue growing. Mm -hmm.